right? So dad had to go home to pack a bag so that my mom would have an overnight bag, gather his stuff, pick Aspen up. So you got to look at all of those features before, before just assuming he went home just to kiss his girlfriend. While he's there, I would assume if he ran into any of his wives, he would give them a kiss goodbye. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. And I'm going to be discussing McKelty and some things that she mentioned on her Patreon live because I found it very informative for a lot of you fans to know what's been going on and how they've been moving forward. And I'm also going to be adding some very interesting misconceptions that she brought up about some of the earlier seasons of Sister Wives. So McKelty did make sure that everyone knew that she will not be responding to any comments or questions about Garrison's passing. She also says that if it gets too hard, she may have to cut it. She did have Tony there with her, so he was a big support system for her. And he, he assured her if it did get too hard that, you know, she can just let him know and he'll stop it. She does share that since Garrison's death, all of her siblings started a text thread with no parents, just the siblings. She says that even though some of the siblings don't get along, everybody was connected with each other and discussing their feelings and kind of validating each other's emotions and i think that's amazing for them she even explains that there was a period mm. during leon's transition for a couple years where everybody wasn't getting along i mean leon kind of fell off the map didn't speak with anybody and gwen's wedding was the first time that she had spoken to Leon in a couple years. So this text thread is kind of like getting everybody back in the know of what's going on with each other's lives and just being there for each other. Something that I really wish that they did before all this happened, but they're moving forward and she says that they are getting through it. So also she does bring up a lot of the misconceptions about the big episode where Christine gave birth to Truly. You know how everybody made a big deal about Cody leaving and going to Robin's house. Well, here is what McKelty had to say about that. She says that the producers hyped up the entire scene and they made it a bigger deal than what it actually was. She said that Cody actually left to go get hospital bags for his mom and himself and he also had to pick up Aspen so that he could take her back to the hospital. However, she does state that he did not intentionally go to Robin's house to give her a kiss. He had to go there for other things and he just may have made a pit stop to check on Robin and the kids and see how everyone was doing. Yes, right in the middle of when his wife is given labor. Mind you, Aspen wasn't even there. So what was his purpose of even stopping by? But she says that Cody would have done that to any of the wives if he would have ran into them. But he didn't. That's the thing. He did not stop by Mary's house. He did not stop by Janelle's house. He stopped by Robin's house and gave her a kiss. And I think that's where McKelty kind of bothers me when she does her rewatches. Is like she does not hold him accountable. One thing she's going to do is stick up for her dad, whether he is right or whether he is wrong. I mean, how can you not see that this situation is insane and he gets a pass of a, with a lot of things that just doesn't make sense. Look at when Truly got really sick when she was just a baby or the time where Isabel had to have major surgery. Where was Cody at? Whose house was he at? Who was he with? What decisions did he make? Was he there for Christine through all of this stuff? No, he was not. And I think that's the point that she's missing. She's not understanding of why the audience is having such a hard time believing that Cody is such an incredible man, an incredible husband and dad, because you have to be a parent to all of your kids. You can't just pick and choose of which ones you want to be a parent to. It doesn't make sense. Let me know how you guys feel about this episode in the comment section below also how do you feel about the kids getting together and having that group text thread do you think this will help them and maybe Gwen and Peyton can come together as siblings and let bygones be bygones 
Let me know. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss any updates. Bye for now.